Hmm, so... I don't know, playing against a player named Barcode, Platinum Level, Azurg, 780 games, Mid, Mid, uh, Plat, Double Plat, a lot of Plat, some gold, some silver. So, Plat Level, Player, So the goal here is to um, get my good information. So I do a little block here. So I block his guy, then I do an eBay, then I just kind of run my guy around. Should have been building SCVs at this point. Oh, good, I am. So I'm building SCVs. I'm changing to an orbital and a marine while I'm doing all this. He sends more, so I just run him away, screwing up his mining. Then I just continue repairing or making. Then it comes after me. This better be good. Just run away. Upgrade complete. Build a bunker because I don't know what he's got there. He's got one going. Build a command center. Cancel that. being annoying. So I'll build a bunker here and it's well past time to get my double gas. Oh, already had my double gas. Good. Um, so now it's time to just kind of build up my economy. He is got some lings. He's taking a quick third. No, he's not taking a quick third. He's scouting all over the map. So, just building up my economy, SCVs and supply depots. Oh, I placed this improperly, so I just decided I'd fix it right now. Put it in the right spot. Probably not a big difference, but trying to just be good at that. So, fix that. Factory's down. Second orbital's down. Um, getting upgrades. Um, getting more barracks. Building more supply. Building more SCVs. So, basically, so I'm going to come out here, Upgrade. I'm going to kill this guy, so I he's supply block now, he's got a lot of resources, and he's got one larva, so he's not, he's not that bad, but he's not going to be able to build anything for a little bit. It's generally being annoying to him when it doesn't cost me too much. So I've got another yeah. barracks on the way. I've got double eBay's on the way. For some reason, one of those gets canceled. Why? But whatever. Oh, and that factory got canceled. So I gotta be careful with my canceling. I gotta okay, be careful with my shift clicking. I'm getting a little, um, getting some errors there. I've noticed in the last few games. But I look at my base. I see that I'm don't have stuff, so I decided to fix that. Complete. Send out a marine, and I see there's a zergling out there, which is a good reason to always send out a scout, just because you don't want a zergling just kind of camping your front door. So I should send the marines out, kill another overlord. He's really annoyed. So he keeps losing overlords and lanes. So I send one one marine to every tower and one up to the base. Hatchery is turning to hive. 
He's got Baneling Nest, Double Evo. We could use some help here. Our forces are under attack. So take control. Um, I am scanning just to see what's going on up in there. Nothing really of interest. Keep building my um, my stuff. Get more barracks. Get another factory. Get more supply depots. And I decided it's time for my triple turret. This is about the time you just can come out. You do not want to lose to that for what would be, you know, not a lot of, not a lot of gas. Here comes an overseer. So, he's got a guy in my base running around. Another starport goes down. Well, he now decides to build a spire. Roach one, cancel, spire, cancel, in what infestation pit? I don't know. Roach one, okay. Hydra den. So, continuing, continuing, continuing. I've got a lot of production facilities up. I've got a good economy. 45 to 55. I've got mules. <coughs> Getting my upgrades. Um, plus one, plus one's underway. Combat shield's underway. I throw a scan down, I believe. Oh, yeah, I sent some guys out. Add on. Complete. Sends a tons of ton of lings. We could use some help here. Really more supply depots. Um SCV ready. Armed and ready. Let's have a blast. Do a scan, I see Roach Hydra. I so complete. Roach Hydra means okay, stop building Thors, build tanks. Build marines, build marauders, medevacs. You know, I'm gonna need a big tank count. Um, but I'm also gonna need a big meat shield, so make sure that I'm doing that. And it also means, more likely than not, this is not gonna be a one engagement fight. I'm gonna gonna take. I'm going to want to take my third. Upgrade complete. Big force. So, build a medevac. I've got my third going down here. Move out to take my third. Kill the rocks. Seize your point tank. Additional supply another tank into a slightly better position that both covers this side and that side. I'm low on supply depots, so I drop two call downs and I build three more. And I've got others finishing up there, so I was actually okay. But anyway. So. 
take a bunch of SCVs off. No, oh, excuse me. I thought I was transferring SCVs and just building more barracks. Here we go. Double turret. Double refinery. I'm ahead in supply at 170. Got good production facilities. I'm ready to wage my macro war. Land my third. Keep that econ going. So, in the income tab, it's 66 to 60. Uh, he's ahead, but I've got mules, so my income should be better. Um, when the mules drop. Oh, right. Well, it's about to be better once I transfer SCVs. I need to transfer to get saturated on this third. So, you see, it's 29 or 21 there, which means I should have moved over earlier. Eight. So, it's 8 now and 21. So, I transfer a bunch over here. And then I transfer a couple back. So 18, 18, Mineral field 13. So good, that's pretty good right there. A little more supply depots. Maxed out, 17 minutes, getting to max. Getting my armor upgrades. Building Marine Marauder, building Medivac. Go, go, go. Now I start to select my army. Put my tanks on the hotkey, move my units out, and I'm going to begin to go out. So, the third is protected. The force is moving out. I send marines in all directions. Keeping on building production facilities. So I keep sending units out. I see the force up there. So I move out. Again. Sending one unit out. Mineral field depleted. I see a bunch of spines. I figure that's no big deal. I can just kill those without even sieging. See a force. Siege up my tanks. Move back to the protection of my siege. Upgrade Move some tanks up. And I'm going to slowly push because I'm on creep. When you're on creep, you just have to slowly push. There's nothing you can do. You can build more units. You can get upgrades. But you can not run out with tanks. You've got to have them sieged at least two or three at a time. There's no other way to do this. He is getting his... Viper is ready. So, I'm getting my 2 2 upgrades. I'm sieging my tanks out little by little. Oh, those guys didn't siege. Those guys should have sieged. There they are. Again, I've got a force near them. Send those to each tanks. Oh. Again, if he threw his entire force back at that far group, I could kind of run back, but I've got the front sieging. Moving up, moving back, continuing to build Marine Marauder, reinforcing this army. These tanks have vision of basically the ramp and that's it, so I want to move some up. Slowly but surely. Here comes some wings. Just sort of make sure they don't get at my tanks. Still producing tanks, Hellbats, Marine, Marauder, Medivac. Engaging. The whole force moves in to try to get past them. It doesn't work. That's that. Let's watch it from his perspective. Upgrade complete. Upgrade. You want a piece of me, boy? Mineral field depleted. So, he's got his third base up, fourth base is underway. He sees the force move out. Our forces are under attack. 
Army Watt value, I'm a little better. He's producing five Vipers. And he's got Tunneling Claws for his units. Our forces are under so he's going to put a bunch of spines down there. Mutation complete. The hive cluster is under attack. So he's getting Ultra Lisk Den. He's researching upgrades. Our forces so, are under attack. And he's trying to get his. Um, Vipers up with their energy up so that he can abduct. Vipers are a great unit. They have two great spells. Three, but two. Uh, abduct, which pulls units across the a distance of the map, like from wherever they are, it just grabs them to where the Vipers are. And then Blinding Cloud, which basically prevents units from attacking beyond one unit, one distance. It makes them blind. They can't shoot far. It's good against range units. So I push in. His, blind, his, his uh, vipers are getting, they're using the consume command to get their energy up, and they're going to start to abduct some units, or attempt to. Thing is, I've got a good number of tanks. I've got uh, seven. So even if he abducts like three or four tanks, which is good, I will probably be okay. So, here goes. Abduct. That tank's going to die. One tank down. Two vipers down. Bunch of forces die. So I keep moving out. And here we go. So he keeps trying to get more stuff, more vipers on the way. Kind of bait him in. See what's going on with that base. Move my units up. Take out a bunch of new units. And that's it. So that last one, I kind of baited him by going over to the to the other base. And then he moved his units in. I think he aimed to move them instead of back in. But either way, they all died. So he lost uh, 12,000 to my 3,000. He was transitioning to ultras with carapace, ventricle sacs just for pick for drops, I think. And then, yeah, I mean, it was just a good game. Um, on my part, I was harassing him, getting my econ and my sort of big base up. Took my third a little bit late, but still took it at a good time. Time supply capped, a minute. Average unspent resources, it's hard to tell with that one because I think I was spending pretty well, but we can see it in another graph. Uh, he got ahead quite a bit in um, resource collection, but I don't really think he was able to use it. Um, so, workers active, I was good, on par with him, which gives me a good resource collection rate, which was at least on par, which is really good. Zerg wants to be ahead in that department. Upgrades, I was ahead for quite a bit. At the end, he got ahead, but I don't really think it impacted the game that much. Um, I had a better army value the whole game, which is not good for Zerg. I'm just going to watch that game while I upload the rest of the games. So, here's the game. Let's take a quick look at mineral income. No, excuse me, minerals in bank. Yeah, I'm really low. I mean, 900 for a thousand for a bit. For most of it, though. It's pretty good. And then it skyrocketed when I was maxed out. Um, 
very little gas banked. So this is proving that I'm getting gas at the right time. I'm not ever really out of gas. And I'm not ever really over on gas. I've just got the right amount, which means I'm doing my gases in the right order. Workers active. I'm doing really good there. Bases. He gets his third. I get my third. Um, like two and a half minutes later, then he gets his fourth and fifth, but they don't really get to be useful. As you can see from the mineraling income. He gets a little more gas, actually, so that's somewhat helpful. 9.12 per minute. He might have needed that for his Vipers and Ultras. Um, I had two call downs, but we could see that I didn't really need them. There were two more supply depots almost done, but I don't think it's a big deal to use them. Um, I had plenty of income at that point in the game. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I think my spending feels better than it shows, but maybe not. I don't know. I thought I spent pretty well. I mean, if you. Look at the early portion of the game. I get up to 1400 and then it goes right back down again. Yeah. Pretty good. Could be better. But it was pretty good over a long macro game. Army value. So in here, he's got basically just lings. And I'm working on my army, but I don't have much because... Effectively, I'm building up production facilities and economy for a big part of this beginning game, which is what I end up doing in Zerg, especially when they double and triple expand. And then I get some Thors, and once I sort of see that it's going to be Ro uh, excuse me, it's going to be Roach Hydra, I really push heavy tanks, and I obviously Marine Marauder Medivac, and I had some Hellbats. Um, good beef, added beef to the army, the Hellbats. Um, so then the Thor stop, and I get up to seven tanks, 38 marines, 18 marauders, seven Hellbats, eight medevacs, a couple Thors. And I maintain that army value pretty much the rest of the game. I only lose 1,700, he loses 4,200. Here I lose 1,000, lose 64, and it's just kind of a downward spiral. He did get out the um, Vipers, but they were a little late, and um, yeah. And he couldn't really use them that well. He could have gotten like three or four pulls, maybe five pulls would have hurt my army, but I had more tanks coming at that point, and my army was pretty much maxed out, and I was losing a little bit, but I was be able to just keep rebuilding it.